In this video, I will explain how we did the snow, uh, backward snowballing in the systematic literature review research. So before, what is a backward snowballing? That is, you look at the references list of uh, each article you included in your project in order to trace those relevant articles listed as reference of the article you selected. So um, to actually decide on the references list, uh, we have to decide what journal articles or what publications we choose um, to, to consider their references. Okay, so um, in the previous step, we already did formal database research and uh, expert consulting. With those two steps, we uh, concluded about 283 citations, I believe. And for sn backward snowballing, we are going to only include it journal articles uh, which were published in um, SSCI indexed journals, which we marked as one. and uh, at the same time, it should be positioned in the quartile one according to the Simago journal ranking, which we mark as Q1 in the data set. Now we, we have a total of um, 38 journal articles that we are going to search through their references list for relevant work to the project. So let's close this one. We go to the references list of this 38 articles that I, I already um, listed here. So for each list of references, um, oh, sorry, it's, it's in, this, in this sheet. So this are total, this is, uh, these are a total of uh, 38 lists of references. So as you can see, for each cell, it contains a full list of refer references um, for an article in, 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 in the 38 articles we have. Now what we need to do is to separate in this complete, for, um, to separate the references from each list. Um, for better comparison, co comparison, because we're going to have uh, um, duplicates, for instance, across these lists, right? So um, we actually separated them in the in this list, as you can see. So from thirty eight lists of um, references to one thousand nine hundred forty eight references, single references, uh, each reference each reference occupies one role. Um, but in this full list, there are duplicates. So um, also some reference, uh, some citations were, some articles or citations, or some publications were written in non-English language. So um, the next step is to remove those duplicates and uh, non-English written publications. So as you can see from this summary, out of, out of uh, 1,949 citations, um, for the first round of data cleaning, I removed 335 duplicates and non-English citations. Within the remaining 1,614 citations, I read through the titles of each um, citation to judge the relevance or irrelevance. And uh, as a result, 954 citations got excluded, which resulted in 660 citations to be further considered. So this is the list of uh, 660 citations currently under consideration. As you can see that, you know, in this list, it's still not perfect. 
there are still um, duplicates and possibly also non-English written citations. Again, it's just because of the format of the um, records, they cannot be easily detected here. So what we need to do is to further separate the elements of each reference. Let's say authors, year, title, and the source of publication, they should be separated. So that is exactly what we did. So um, we separated this, as you can see. It's, it's not a very easy job. It, evolved, it, it involves um, extensive manual sorting of the data. But in the end, it actually, um, it actually, actually further removed the duplicates and non-English written literature from the um, citation list. Now we have 594 unique citations, which will enter into the relevance coding in the stage of backward snowballing. So the relevance coding in this stage will be explained in another video.